Hi there, hope you're having a good day, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to talk about the top five lightest basketball shoes that you can get right now. So for this list, I want to clarify that I'm not just going by numbers on the scale. Uh, like the shoes need to have great performance too, obviously. Uh, and I'm listing my top five in order by how they perform as well. So if you prefer to play in a lightweight shoe with a minimal core feel, no excessive weight dragging you down, or if you're a fast and shifty player, take a look at these lightest options out there that you can get. Also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We talk about all different types and brands of hoop shoes, sneakers, and all that on a regular basis. I only have two to three honorable mentions. Uh, let's quickly get that through. The Curry Hover Splash 3 is one of them. Not the lightest, but it feels very light and minimal on feet. Fluent transition and core feel might not be available in some places yet, but this shoe is perfect for guards in my opinion. Finally, a different also, and just solid choice. And also just some shoes that have been out for a while now. I like the Kyrie Low 5, Precision 6, these are both very light, and you might be able to find a pair on sale too. The LeBron 20 is like average weight, but it is pretty much the lightest LeBron signature shoe ever, along with the Witness 7 too, so I just thought I'd mention them here. Basically, you finally don't have to worry about them being too heavy. Okay, now here's my top 5. Uh, keep in mind that these are just based on my experience playing in them, and I did rank them based on overall performance too, not just how light or how heavy they are. At number five, I have the Jordan 1 Take 4. For those who watched my video on them, you might remember that I had a pretty big flaw where the left shoe was significantly lighter than the right shoe. But even if I take the heavier one, it's still one of the lightest hoop shoes out there, just like the 1 Take 3. Traction is excellent, the upper materials are super thin, so breathability is also fantastic. Again, just a very minimal feeling on feet. It's a pretty affordable budget shoe, right at 100 bucks. Westbrook's budget line has consistently outperformed the main signature line, and the upcoming Why Not 0.6 Six. Uh, to me, so far, it feels like the same materials and build of the One Take 4, but with a zipper. Uh, anyways, we'll see how those are later on. Next up, at number 4 is the Li Ning Speed 9 Premium. Uh, when I think of shoes for faster players, guards who do a lot of twists and turns on the court, this is probably the first one that comes to mind. They are well below 400 grams for size 10 and a half. Very low to the ground, movements of your feet in all directions feel very fluent in them. That outrigger part is designed perfectly in my opinion, to help contain your feet inside. Traction is amazing, the also is very durable too. Uh, the one thing I wish was better in these is the cushioning. The midsole feels kind of stiff, it's supposed to have boom in the forefoot, but to be honest I really didn't feel it much, compared to other Li Ning and Waveway shoes. So that's the one downside of the Speed 9 Premium, a lack of softness on feet. At number 3, I have the Curry 1 Low Flow Troll. Under Armour and Curry brand are basically going through a big Flow Troll run on the older Curry shoes. Uh, this one, for some reason, I feel like has been sort of under the radar. But speaking of bringing back a classic shoe with newer technology, uh, this is a prime example of that. The Curry 1 Flow Troll fits true to size. You don't need to size up, in my opinion, unlike some other Currys. Very lightweight, even lighter than the Curry 10 on the scale. Pretty much no break-in time required, and just a big improvement in comfort level and core feel compared to the original Curry one. At second place is one that might surprise you for being on this list, but they are actually very light. Reduced weight compared to the previous version, and also just better performance too, and that is the Nike Zoom Freak 4. Giannis shoes have never really been heavy, but you typically don't think of it as one of the lightest basketball shoes. However, the Zoom Freak 4 is only 375 grams for my size 10.5 pair. Uh, any shoe under 400 grams for my size, I would already consider them to be light, and this is well below that. Performance-wise, they are solid across the board too. Decent traction, the double zoom units exposed under the forefoot feel great, and I think it's a good choice, uh, let's say if you like to attack the rim a lot. Smooth takeoffs, and no extra TPU piece on the upper that drags you down or anything. Oh, and that all-star colorway, super dope. Alright, so the best lightweight basketball shoe that you can get right now in my opinion, is the Curry 10. For those of you who already have the Curry 8 and 9, you know what to expect. And yes, they are a little bit redundant with the flow also, but hey, this is just an excellent shoe to play in. Very nice core feel, 
super smooth transition from front to back with that curve shape. Traction stops really hard and comfort level is up there too. You can go true to size, but it'll be a very snug fit, especially around the toe box. So half size up might be safer for a lot of people. Just avoid the curries if you have really wide feet, but otherwise this is a top choice among the lightest hoop shoes. That concludes my list for the lightest basketball shoes out there as of now. To me, these five are not only minimal on feet, but also just great shoes to play in in general. If you're looking to avoid getting a pair of heavy shoes, take a look at these options. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.